Now the question becomes, how do we get the Lord to our house? Amen? Because I need, I'm not sure about you. I need some miracles in my house. How about you, right? Okay. Some of you can testify at times in your life that, you, that Jesus showed up at your house, right? Anybody want to raise your hand and just say, thank God, there was a time that Jesus came to my house, right? Aren't you glad he came because it was different after he worked his way through and, and did what he needed to do? How many of you believe that Jesus at some point in time in the future can come to your house? Now, here's the real tricky point. How many you believe that with the problem you're facing right now in your house, Jesus can show up and help you with the problem in your house right now? Okay, that's what we're talking about. So how does it happen? How do we welcome Jesus into our house? Let me walk you through this fairly quickly. I've got about 10 minutes here, so we're going to do this very, very quickly. Number one, you've got to make sure that you're asking God to come to your house. You've got to make sure that your needs are known to God. You need to be a person of prayer. I mentioned it a moment ago. I want to highlight it again. You need to take your big problems to God in prayer and your small problems to God in prayer. You need to take everything to God in prayer. There's not a a single thing that you, can, you don't need to pray about. And when you have a problem, especially in your life, you need to make God your first court of appeal. Before you call somebody else, you call God. Amen. That when your kids get sick, the first one you call on is Dr. Jesus. I'm not saying you shouldn't call the doctor, doctor too. But you might be on the way to the doctor's office and you're calling on Dr. Jesus as you're going to the human physician, you're calling on the heavenly physician. Okay. And this whole idea of bringing Jesus into everything that you do when you have a financial problem, instead of picking up the phone and calling everybody you know and asking for a loan, okay, you say, Dr. Jesus, financial advisor Jesus, Jesus who meets every need according to my riches and glory, I'm calling on you first to meet the need. I have a lot more month than I have money right now, and I'm asking you to help me to deal with that shortfall, and Jesus knows how to help you. He might guide you and usually will guide you to some very practical things that you will need to do, but it starts with him. Call upon him. Ask God. Make him your first court of appeal. Amen. 